Welcome back to Alpha Cars and Motorcycles. My name is Ian, and today I've got a very cool Royal Enfield to share with you. This is a brand new 2023 Interceptor 650. It's in the orange crush color, and it's one of my personal favorites. I love that shade of orange, the flake it has in it, and then the aluminum color rims. I think it all ties together very nicely and it's very uh, a very attractive motorcycle so this video is going to be talking about the general features specifications and at the end we'll get to some of the cool accessories that we offer for the interceptors as well so with all that being said let's dive in So first, while we admire this beautiful orange color uh, glisten in the sun, let's talk about Royal Enfield's warranty. On this 2023 Interceptor 650, it's a three-year unlimited mileage warranty, and that really says something about how Royal Enfield uh, backs their product. We sell hundreds of these a year, and we see little to none come back for warranty concerns. Uh, I personally can't think of uh, when the last time we had one. These bikes are so well built, so well put together. Um, and designed, you know, Royal Enfield's really knocked it out of the, out of the park in that aspect. And they really are uh, like European quality bikes. So very impressive. Now let's get on to the engine, the beating heart of this Interceptor. So it's a 648cc parallel twin. It is a four stroke, a single overhead cam, and it is fuel injected. So we see one of the throttle bodies here and there is an injector in the top of it right there. So, uh, you know, no matter the elevation you're at, the temperature, uh, no worrying about uh, having to, you know, mess with a choke or clean a carburetor after you store it for the season. Um, all you do is hit that start button and it runs sweet every time. And Royal Enfield really, they did a, a great job with the fueling on these bikes, uh, you know, very smooth and the cold starts um, are very good. So, that is a plus as well. That engine is meshed with a six-speed gearbox. Very slick shifting, very easy to find neutral um, in my experience. See the shifter right there. And it is air and oil cooled. So air cooled uh, being it has, you know, these nice cooling fins on the cylinder and a little kind of heat sink sort of deal on the header. And we have our oil cooler on the front of it as well. So no complication of liquid cooling, uh, you know, no extra hoses or, uh, you know, fluids to worry about, uh, you know, uh, servicing over time. And Royal Enfield did a great job. That's the oil filter right there. So very easy um, to service on your own if you're looking to do a do-it-yourself oil change. Um, I like it's just in a very easy to get position. And that engine will yield you around 70 miles to the gallon, according to Royal Enfield. Um, these bikes are so fun. You know, that's maybe a mixed riding <laughs> sort of quote. Um, you know, if you're, if you're really exercising that engine, maybe you're not going to get that. But like I said, commuting, mixed riding, um, that is what they quote. So with a 3.6 gallon fuel tank, you're going to maximize your smiles per gallon and not be worried about fuel stops. Now talking about the... Uh, suspension and the weight of this machine uh, 445 pounds wet so you know not very much for a bike like this uh, very easy to maneuver and get your feet down it's only a 31.6 inch seat height um, so you know not very intimidating um, which is what you want you know whether you're a seasoned rider or you're just getting into riding um, it's really a fun bike no matter who you are and what I mean by 445 pounds wet, uh, the wet weight on a motorcycle is ready to ride. So that's full of all the required fluids. So gas, you know, oil, brake fluid. That's the actual weight that you're going to be uh, maneuvering and handling. So that's always a good thing to, uh, to keep in mind. We've got 4.3 inches of suspension travel in the front and 3.4 inches in the rear. A very standard amount for a road bike like this. And these beautiful aluminum color wheels, uh, 36 spoke, 18 inch, and they are aluminum alloy. So I really love these aluminum color wheels, how they tie in with the rest of the bike. I think they're quite stunning. Now that we're in the area, let's talk about these brakes. Standard ABS front and rear. So we can see the 
uh, the tone ring right there for the ABS sensor to read. We have a nice uh, floating design uh, rotor. It is drilled in a two-piston hydraulic caliper. Uh, that's 320 millimeters on the front as well, the rotor. And the rear rotor is 240 millimeters in a single piston caliper. So plenty of stopping power. Uh, really, you know, high performance brake design uh, stops this machine no problems. So now I'm getting to the part where I'm going to throw a leg over this. But before I do that, let's take a look at the seat. Really beautiful. It's a uh, diamond quilted or diamond quilt patterned, I should say. And I think it's a really stunning piece. Um, you know, Royal Enfield really just went above and beyond with kind of the fit and finish and the details. So we can see sticking out of the side cover, we have a battery tender lead. Uh, we install a lead for a battery tender on all the uh, machines we sell here at Alpha Cars. So that's very handy as well. So with how reasonably priced these bikes are, uh, it's really amazing that Royal Enfield has fitted a center stand as uh, standard on the interceptors. So the center stands are nice because uh, you can store it upright. Uh, it makes, you know, maintenance on the machine very easy. Uh, you know, even, even things like just chain maintenance makes it very safe and easy. And, you know, on many motorcycles, even <laughs> double, triple the cost of this interceptor, they don't have center stands as standard anymore. Um, and it's hundreds of dollars to buy one and have it fitted. So that's just really a notable mention, um, as I said. So now I'm going to get it off the center stand so I can put a leg over it. And we'll go over the uh, controls and ergonomics. Okay, now we've got it on the side stand. So I'm going to throw a leg over and stand it up. So you can see I'm flat footed with a slight bend in the knee. However, I am uh, five foot 11. So I do have some height on my side. But as I said, uh, very you know, reasonable seat height, not very intimidating. Now checking out this cool dash, uh, kind of retro gauge design. Uh, let me turn the key on. You can hear that electric fuel pump prime. Uh, did its gauge sweep and self check. Uh, we see on the left, we have a fuel gauge, which is awesome. I love that on modern bikes. There's no going by <laughs> mileage or, or kind of guessing or having to look in the tank for that matter. Uh, right now it's on our odometer. We have a multifunction button in the center. Uh, we, we can view our trip A and trip B and reset those respectively. And then on the right, we have our various, uh, you know, uh, information lights if those need to be on. Uh, it is just kind of standard motorcycle controls. Uh, low beam's always on. We have our high beam and then our flash to pass trigger is on the back. We have our blinkers, um, which are not self canceling. Um, so you just have to make sure to click that in when you're done. And then our horn. And of course, our kill and run switch and our starter. Um, I will mention the grips are kind of like a soft touch. Um, that's impressive to me. Uh, I feel like I've maybe tried some other bikes around this price range or maybe more, more expensive and the grips are kind of like hard plastic and a, you know, just not very comfortable. Uh, so that's just a thing to know as well. So now we can see we're in neutral. It's only around 20 to 25 degrees today in New England. So let's really show that modern fuel injection, um, show how great that is. Starts right up, wonderful cold start as I had mentioned. So we can see all the lights went out except that ABS light is on, that is normal. Uh, the ABS uh, sensors need to get a signal once you start rolling to do a self check. So as I said, that will go out once you roll forward a few feet. And I will give it just a couple little revs for you. So it's a very throaty sounding parallel twin. Sounds awesome as it goes down the road. So I'm gonna throw this back on the center stand uh, and then we'll talk about some of the really cool accessories we offer and give you some of my closing comments. Now back on the center stand, uh, let's talk about some of the accessories we offer. Uh, these accessories can be worked into the deal uh, you know, if you are gonna purchase from us. So you know, we can install them um, before you even uh, get the bike uh, take delivery of the bike so that's pretty cool uh, we have things like performance slip-on muffler performance air filter 
uh, LED headlight bulb, a sump guard, like a skid plate for the engine, uh, a headlight rock guard, various engine protection um, bars to choose from, whether you want kind of discrete ones or maybe uh, bigger ones to give you the maximum protection in the event of like a tip over. Uh, we have various windshields, uh, even heated grips, and we also have a uh, side luggage hard case kit that offers 44 liters of capacity. So it'll come with the proper brackets to go on the respective left and right side at the rear. So great for, you know, commuting, uh, or if you just want to go, <laughs> go to the supermarket and grab, uh, gra grab some milk or something, um, just somewhere to put that. So that's all very exciting. So definitely check out our website, alphacars.com. It is linked in the video and in the description. Uh, you can check out the availability to see if this orange crush interceptor is still available. Uh, we're always having new stock arrive, um, so we can definitely uh, you know, find the right bike for you if we might not have it at the time you're looking. So with all that being said, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like, um, you know, show some of your support. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more exciting content that we are releasing.